Dr. The Thishuk has been speaking about this in the last few minutes. What did he have to say? Well, again, Coletti is sticking by his man, Minister Robert Troy. It has been a very awkward one for the government, this, the drip, drip of new information, the consistent apologies made by Robert Troy over his property interests and the uh, numerous amendments which have had to be made to the Register of Members' Interests here uh, in Leinster House. Now, over the weekend, there was further reporting, uh, particularly in the Irish Examiner, which said that Robert Troy uh, had to uh, decline to confirm whether or not he'd registered uh, one property in particular at Ballynacargi uh, in County Office or in County Westmeath, I should say, uh, with the Residential Tenancies Board. He then subsequently confirmed uh, to the Sunday Times that he didn't have that uh, registered and that has since been corrected. Now, uh, there has been numerous calls at this stage for uh, Robert Troy to come clean on all of the matters relating to his property interests. There has been significant pressure put on the government uh, to take a stand on this, particularly at a point in time where the rental market is so difficult for people uh, to find pr properties, to find homes and roofs over their heads. Uh, the Taoiseach this afternoon uh, in Bantry in West Cork. He says once again that he is satisfied with Robert Troy's explanations over the matter. First of all, I think he has given a comprehensive statement uh, in relation to the issues and uh, much, and I think he's clarified and he's apologised um, for, for what transpired uh, and clearly the fact that he had declared uh, many, many of, of, of those properties in previous years but not in a particular year because of a misunderstanding on his part. Nonetheless, he has fully apologised um, for that. Um, and um, again, uh, you know, he has corrected and he has amended um, the record in respect of, of, of his declarations. He's a very effective Minister of State in the Department of Enterprise. He's worked very hard and he works very diligently uh, at his job. That isn't good enough for a number of opposition politicians. One, Paul Murphy, TD, today calling for a Robert Troy to stand down, now saying that his position is untenable. I, I think Minister Troy's position is completely untenable. In the best case scenario, his version of the story is that he was very deeply incompetent over a period of many, many years in filling out his uh, register of, of interests. Yeah, so it's a very difficult situation here for the government to shake, particularly, as I say, in the middle of a housing crisis with a renewed focus on the rental market over the course of this winter and as we come up towards a budget. So uh, expect this one to stick around for quite some time yet. Uh, and it is something which the opposition are going to keep con continue to heat the pressure on the government over, Colette. All right.